a solar storm, NASA snapped this first ever coronal mass ejection as a star spews powerful energy. You may think this is our sun, but it is not our sun. This is a sun belonging to another solar system. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. NASA's Chandra Observatory pictured the first ever coronal mass ejection, CME, of a star outside our solar system. This is what the space agency announces in its spectacular revelation. Coronal mass ejections are the primary cause of solar storms and geomagnetic space weather that affect our Earth, but this time NASA's Chandra X-ray Observer picked up a CME producing, produced 450 light years away from us. This CME is like this are powerful blasts or large scale exp uh, the expulsions of energy from a bursting star and frequently witnessed on our sun as well. And recently observed, CME is the first of its kind to be seen on a foreign star. The star in question is called HR 9024. It sits about, I don't know what it is, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's 2.6 to the uh, uh, 6 times 3 to the 18th, 2.6 to the 18th miles from our home planet. The CME released vast quantities of X-ray radiation, as we can see, and a giant bubble of supercharged gas known as plasma. These are incredible findings. The team of researchers in Italy were outlined in the journal Astronomy. Costanza Argiroffi of the University of Palermo who led the study said the technique we use is based on monitoring the velocity of plasmas during a stellar flare. It's because in analogy with the solar environment, it's expected that during a flare, the plasma confined in the coronal loop where the flare takes place moves first upward and then downward, reaching the lower layers of the stellar atmosphere. Beyond that, there is also expected to be an additional motion, always directed upwards due to the CME associated with the flare. Observing monstrous CMEs in distant stars can help scientists better understand the effects of the stellar phenomenon on here on Earth. Typically, CMEs are associated with ejecting billions of tons of magnetically charged material all the way into space. The solar material then interacts with the Earth's own magnetic field, in the case of our sun, of course, and cause radiation storms and geomagnetic storms, which can disrupt satellite operations and cause power grid problems. This happens because the outer layer of the sun's scorching atmosphere, known as the corona, is composed of magnetically charged fields. And according to NASA, when these fields close, the sun's atmosphere can suddenly and violently release giant bubbles of gas in magnetic fields, CMEs. NASA said a large CME can contain a billion tons of matter that can be accelerated to several million miles per hour in a spectacular explosion. Solar material streams out through the interplanetary medium and it impacts any planet or spacecraft in its path. The CME released by HR 9024 came with a solar flare which rose and dropped at speeds ranging from 225,000 miles an hour to 900,000 miles per hour. And the flare also peaked at temperatures ranging from 10 millions to 25 million degrees Celsius. Dr. R. Griroffi said, this result never achieved before confirms that our understanding of the main phenomenon that occurs in flares is solid. We were not so confident that our predictions could match in a way, in such a way with observations because our understanding of flares is based almost completely on observations of the solar environment where the most extreme flares are even 100,000 times less intense in the X radiation emitted.
if you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.